Canceling. Canceling. All right, so let's talk active noise cancellation. So as you guys saw, the XM4s definitely hold their own up against the XM5s. Uh, very similar performance overall, but I will say that in person, the XM5s do perform just slightly better. Um, you can definitely tell as soon as you activate the noise cancellation, uh, you kind of give them a few seconds and you can really feel them optimizing things. And then after that, it feels like there's just another small layer of noise cancellation that you don't get compared to the XM4s. But again, both of these are top tier as far as overall active noise canceling ability. So you can't really go wrong one way or the other. And I wouldn't say it's to the point that it justifies dropping the XM4s immediately to pick up the XM5s. And pretty much similar experience with the transparency mode. Um, pretty similar performance, but I will say that the XM5s do perform just slightly better, um, not necessarily in terms of allowing more noise in as far as volume, but I will say the noise that it does allow in sounds just a little bit more natural and a little bit less processed compared to the XM4s. So very marginal differences here, uh, but overall I would give the advantage to the XM5. Now a really small difference that you may or may not have picked up on is the fact that we no longer have the voice prompt uh, when going through the different noise canceling settings. So with the XM4s, when you switch between ambient mode, transparency mode, and off, um, you have that voice prompt that lets you know which mode you're switching into. Now with the XM5s, they've done away with that, um, and now it's just a simple you know tone. Um, so you can tell which mode you're in based on you know what you're hearing, 
but I don't know. I kind of like having the voice prompt that you get with the X and four so that there's absolutely no confusion. So very small detail, but it is something that I wanted to make sure I pointed out. So now let's talk about speak to chat. So with the XM4s, the lowest time interval that you can set for your music to automatically resume is 15 seconds. So if you're wearing the headphones, listening to your music, somebody comes up to you, starts talking, you respond, your music automatically pauses, ambient mode kicks on, and then once the conversation is over, you have to wait 15 seconds before your music to automatically resume. With the XM5s, they've lowered that to five seconds so you don't have to wait nearly as long for your music to kick back on. So if you like using speak to chat, that is a nice upgrade. Otherwise you could just do things manually uh, using your palm up against the right ear cup. So one of the big topics surrounding the XM5 since their release is the fact that they no longer collapse like the XM4s, which in terms of portability and you know travel, things like that, it is a nice feature. But over the past few days, just kind of using the headphones back and forth, using the actual carrying cases and kind of comparing the two, the case of the XM5 isn't necessarily that much bigger than the XM4. So when you really get down to it, I don't think it makes that much of a difference. If you're throwing one of these in a luggage versus the other, I think you're going to be able to find room for either one without too much issue. Now, let's talk about the comfort, which for both of these headphones is absolutely excellent. Um, they're both extremely lightweight, extremely comfortable. Uh, the ear cushions are very soft, very forgiving. So they're pretty much on the exact same playing field when it comes to comfort. You can't really give the advantage one way or the other. They're both excellent. Now, one thing that I did notice is that the ear cups and the ear cushions are a little bit larger on the XM4 compared to the XM5. And the overall ear cushion is a little bit thicker um, a little bit plushier. Um, so if you have a larger head and larger ears, you might be better off with the XM4s. So aside from wearing these in extremely hot temperatures, these are great for longer wearing sessions. You know, if you need to catch a long flight or something of that nature. So as far as overall specs, there's not really much difference. You're getting the same level of battery life. Um, you're getting multi-point connection with both options. So you're able to connect to two devices at the same time and switch back and forth between the two. And you're also getting that LDAC compatibility with both the XM4 and the XM5. So you have the option of tapping into that higher resolution audio codec. So as far as specs, not really much reason to upgrade to the XM5. So let's go ahead and jump into the sound quality. So with the XM5, they are using a smaller 30 millimeter driver compared to the 40 millimeter driver of the XM4. Even with that size difference, you're not really sacrificing much in terms of bass, uh, in terms of treble and clarity, or in terms of volume. Uh, in fact, the sound is pretty similar. Um, now, I will say that it does sound a little bit more open with the XM5. Sounds like there's a little bit more space within the audio. Um, so it's a little bit more distance between you and the artist that you're listening to. So that may or may not make a difference to you, but with the Sony Headphones Connect app, having the different EQ presets and the customizable EQ, um, you can really tweak these to your personal preference either way. So as far as sound, again, I don't really think there's a huge difference between the two. So if there was one particular reason that you should upgrade from the XM4 to the XM5, it's most definitely the call quality. So if you have not seen my microphone comparison video where I compare the XM5s against the XM4, and the AirPods Max as far as microphone quality, you have to watch that video because the XM5s absolutely blow the XM4s and the AirPods Max out of the water when it comes to microphone performance. The XM5s are ridiculously good at canceling out background noise and really focusing in on nothing else but your voice, which is something that the XM4s kind of struggle with. So if you take a lot of phone calls, especially on the go, um, in different environments, busy areas, things of that nature, you for sure want to go with the XM5s. It's a night and day difference. And that's really the one aspect that, like I said, if there's one reason that you need to upgrade is because of that. On the other hand, if you don't take very many phone calls and you don't really care about the microphone performance, then yeah, you probably want to stick with the XM4s. But again, when it comes to call quality, the XM5s are the clear winner. So for those of you that use Spotify as your main source of music, 
you can now choose to launch Spotify with the touch of a button on the XM5. So if you don't use Spotify, then this doesn't really apply to you. But again, if you use Spotify very frequently, you might like this feature. So aside from that, that's pretty much the breakdown of the XM4 versus the XM5 in my opinion. If there's one reason for you to upgrade, it's the call quality. Aside from that, I think the performance is very similar. So if you wanna know how the XM5 stack up against the AirPods Max, make sure you check out this video.